Jasmine and Lightai. Si habla español, hay subtítulos y voy a traducir mis otros videos en uh, español también. Just recently, Rachel and June, two YouTubers, made a documentary video about what it's like to be black in Japan. And just because I so happen to be black and I'm currently living in Japan, I thought I would make a video and put in my little two cents. And I even took notes. So this video is going to be on topic. I also wanted to mention that Andre had also made a YouTube video about what it's like to be a black male in Japan. I believe the black male experience can be very different than uh, the experience of black female in Japan. So I will post links to both Rachel and June's video and Andre's video in the description box below, so please watch. By the way, this video is only about my experience. I am not speaking about all Japanese people and I am not speaking on how your experience will be if you come to Japan or how your experience is if you already are in Japan. Um, this is just all of my interactions, and when I say Japanese people, I specifically mean the Japanese people that I have come into contact with. So just a little bit about me. I am currently living in Japan, in Tokyo, and I am teaching English in the Japanese school system. I have been here now for about nine, going on ten months. The thing that stands out about me uh, being in Japan uh, and being black is that people seem to just automatically think I'm cool which can be a good thing but then sometimes it's kind of annoying I've met a diverse amount of Japanese people here and I always get invited to parties and events and everything which is great but when I come in it's just like oh like I love it but at the same time I feel like people are treating me like I'm cool just because I'm black again it's not necessarily a bad thing but I would like people to look a little bit deeper which these people who I have met, like, after they get to know me more, like, it happens. But, yeah, like, so far, like, being black in Japan, I automatically get a cool card. I am just cool. <laughs> do I experience any discrimination? Uh, yes, as a foreigner, I do experience some discrimination, but it's not to be confused with discrimination just because I'm black. Um, when I'm talking to other foreigners that are white or Latino, like just anyone that's foreign, uh, everyone seems to be discriminated against just about the same. So I don't really feel like I'm being discriminated just because of my color, which is it's a pretty nice feeling, although I didn't really feel like that in the States either, but that was just my experience. In Rachel and June's video, a few of the YouTubers talk about um, an empty seat when you're on the train, and Bayan McNeil also mentions it in his book. Um, so many foreigners, when you go on the train, no matter how packed the train is, uh, many Japanese people will not take that seat next to the foreigner. And like that happens to me just about every day when I'm going to work. But you shouldn't take it personally. Again, it happens to just about all foreigners. And you're in a different country with a different belief and opinion system. So I wouldn't take that personally. Um, I was told by two Japanese people that usually the Japanese person would not take the seat by the foreigner because they don't want to make a mistake. Just about the only time that I felt like I was being called out because of the color of my skin uh, was when I went to a Jamaican festival with my friends. And my friends, one is Australian but ethnically Taiwanese and the other one is German, so we're all foreigners and we go to this Jamaican festival in Yoyogi Park in Japan, of course. And um, so we're listening to these two like guys sing reggae and we're in this crowded venue and this one Japanese guy, he like he's really tall but he walks all the way through the crowd just like excuse me, excuse me, excuse me and I see him because he was just parting the crowd just kind of like forcefully and so I'm just like who is this guy what is he trying to do and then he comes right up to me and then he says well I really hope that you can come to a few more of my events so I, I guess he helped plan the Jamaican event and then he gave me a flyer and he said it's very nice to see you and yeah so we had like a quick conversation and when he left I looked at the flyer and it said ghetto smackdown I kid you not I do receive a lot of racial questions, 
But the funny thing is, I do not receive many racial questions from Japanese people. It's always from other foreigners. I've been asked the most racial questions with like pure ignorance by many Northern Europeans versus Japanese people. I feel like when I'm asked racial questions from a Japanese person, I feel like there's a lot of thought behind it. So I never really feel like、um, any negativity about it. Um, and I don't want to really call out Northern Europeans, but I kind of am.、Um, it's always interesting how I feel like Northern Europeans, when they say something about black people, they always make like, a statement and then they want me to confirm. A little bit offensive, but I don't lose my cool or anything. I just want to educate. just want to educate. So, usually, like, if a Japanese person asks me about my hair, which is different, as many people don't have dreadlocks,、um, They just ask, like, how do I wash it? How do I take care of it?、Um, whereas I've been asked by many Northern Europeans, like, you don't wash your hair, right? Like, I get not really asked questions, it's more like a fact, and they want me to confirm the fact.、Um, I've also been asked, like, how, what are the showering habits of black people? I'm just like, do you know how many black people there are? And do you know, like, we're not, we didn't agree on、uh, our showering habits, we're all over the world. <laughs>、um, Yeah, I've been asked like why black women wear, like,、uh, I think Nigerian women wear like those head hats, headscarf hats thingies. Yeah, I don't feel like they were being negative, but they were just total ignorance and didn't even think about the question that they're asking.、Um, which I didn't get really offended, but it's just like you need to think before you talk. When I was in Okinawa, I went to a club with my friends and we were just like dancing and everything, and then all of a sudden I feel a pressure on my, on my hair, on my head. And so I turn my head, and there's a girl that has my hair in her hand, and she has the biggest smile on her head, like on her face. She's just like, oh, what? <laughs> yeah, so I'm just like, okay. So I grabbed her hair, and I'm just like, ah. And yeah, she just like looked at me, like surprised, and then she walked off. If a person just grabs my hair, which many people have not grabbed my hair without me,、uh, without asking. So, but yeah, if a person grabs my hair,、uh, I usually grab their hair back. So, I was walking back home and then I remembered to tell you guys about the stairs. So, a lot of people here do stare at you.、Uh, don't be discouraged though. I usually just have an eye staring contest with them and I usually fail. Because they just keep staring.、Um, a lot of the kids will stare too, but I keep staring until like the mom or something like slaps them, which is pretty funny. Many countries that I've been to,、uh, usually the guys are very direct and they'll just come up to me and then start talking. But in Japan, that is really not the case. And if a Japanese guy does come up to me, it's like once in a month or something, it doesn't happen too often. It's always the Japanese people that. Have gone outside of Japan, so have traveled to the US, or who have traveled to Europe, or some have traveled to Jamaica and Brazil.、Um, so it's always the Japanese people that, who, who have、uh, traveled to another country that approach me. Last week, I was walking down the street and a guy stopped me, and then he was asking, he was trying to promote like a drink or something like that, and he, his wife does dancing. So he was promoting this drink in this dancing studio, and then he said, Oh, you do hip hop? You do hip hop? I was like, No, I don't do hip hop, sorry. <laughs> and then he just like looked at me, and yeah. I do have to go against stereotypes, but at the same time, by people just meeting me and then realizing that what they see in the media, what they read about, it's, it's not true about all black people. That's a little bit about my living in Japan, and I'm really liking it.、Uh, I keep meeting very interesting people, and yeah, I, I love it. I have some strong opinions on this whole like, race issue and everything. So, I have about what two or three more videos planned on the subject.、Um, so, keep watching. Thank you for watching today, and don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe, like, send to your friend, and yeah, tell me if this experience aligned with yours if you're living in Japan. And yeah, bye.